introducing the box of fighting out from the blue corner. This evening is spotted in the black trunks with red, gold, green with the black stars to match, with black shoes and blue gloves to match. And this is the man from the Sea View Boxing Gymnasium here in Accra. This is the boxer who is trying to make his debut as a professional boxer. Please let's welcome the boxer with the weight of 150 pounds, Isaac Kome. Switching over to the red corner. One of the discoveries on the Deluxe Professional Boxing League platform. And this is the man with the black and white trunks, red gloves, and black and white shoes to match. From the Black Panthers Boxing Team here in Accra. This is the man with the weight of 149 pounds. Official record, five fights, no defeats, no draw. Four of the wins came by way of knockout. And this is the man who is also known to be called the Dynamite. Ali Suleiman and the man in charge of this fight is Erasmus. Oh, good evening, guys. You know the rules already. I need a bullet to fight. What do I say? You must be touch gloves. Good luck. Well, hello everyone and good evening, welcome. Thanks for joining us here live on Max TV and of course at the Fat Channel 247. Bringing you nothing but the best of boxing made in Ghana. It's the Deluxe Professional Boxing League brought to you by the kindest of courtesies of IMAX. Round! Round! We're getting ready Round! to bring you the first bout of the evening and there we go. We've got the first round to share with you and uh, it's going to feature two key boxers. Ali Du Suleiman are coming into this uh, fight. Of course, the aggressor and of course, the more experienced. He's got five bouts uh, to his uh, credit. And he's taking on Isaac Komi. Isaac Komi, who uh, is coming in uh, at a weight of 150 pounds. So he's the heavier of the two uh, boxers. This is his first, his debut as a uh, promo let's see what stuff he's made of and of course for those who've been following alidu closely on the deluxe professional boxing league he's one of the aggressive boxers we've seen this is a welterweight contest and it's scheduled for six rounds alidu in the black trunks and then making his debut today is uh, isaac komi isaac komi is uh, representing the sea view gym whilst the uh, uh the black panthers gym the dreaded black panthers gym have a product in alidu sulemana my two colleagues derek and ny will be uh bringing us the uh, tidbits the summaries and of course the descriptions as we go through And again, careful timing by uh, Alidu. In good shape, he told me when we met yesterday at the uh, weigh-in. Alidu, that is. And he says he's just ready to dish out anything that comes his way. The blows, the punches, the knocks, the jabs, the hooks. He's got all that. Isaac Komi tries to keep uh, away from uh, his opponent and a bit to steady him as it were before unleashing the bombs for the night and there he goes some good work there on the body of Alidu Quite a, it's quite a solid debut uh, performance, at least the first few minutes we've seen. Uh, and it's now the turn of Alidi to uh, distribute some of those bombs he has. Isaac Komi obviously will not be uh, coyed into submission, especially not in this first round. 
couple of seconds to go and there uh, we have the end of the first round Round. Uh, okay and it's good to know coming Two. from a rich boxing uh, background and of course kickboxing on the side we obviously know about our uh, world champ who's now surging in the usa trying to uh, get his loins to get back into world glory but Komi, the name Komi, when it comes to boxing, rings a bell in many, many, many facets and uh, dimensions. There was Percy Oblite Komi, there was Oblite Komi, and the list is endless. Good display there by uh, Isaac Komi. And uh, like Derek rightly said, he's not going to be coined in. He's not overawed at all, giving everything he has. And at this stage, it's Alidu who would have to uh, stand guard. And... Uh, we may not have seen the best of the dynamite yet, but I'm sure the, dy the dynamite would want to explode uh, any time soon. And there he goes and lands a big one. Napaka through the uh, blocks. And then they uh, go into a clinch. I'll be bringing NY into uh, the frame in just a second. We've just done one minute of the uh, second round, but three minutes have already passed as far as the first round is concerned. And definitely, NY, Isaac is not going to be a mere pushover. Granted, it is, it is his first major bout, but he's certainly standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a much more experienced Ali Dussulemana. And Prince, I like that. I like that if a fighter in his debut and he wants to stand toe to toe with an experienced fighter in the name of Ali Du Suleiman, you can see that Isaac Komi in the first one he was trying to size his opponent to see how he can get some weaknesses mm. coming on his uh, opponent. But as uh, my brother Derek said, he's coming from the kickboxing family, yeah. and you know that he is a former kickboxer, Isaac Komi, and he defeated a UK Ghanaian kickboxer base. His name is still. Theophilus Nelson okay. and he really ended his career on that note so you could see that Isaac Komi has a lot of big hearts he is physically strong yeah. but as Derek said today is going to be a big test for him because Ali Du Suleimana is also strong in the water weight division so let's see how this fight goes let's see how it goes and uh, quite impressive especially with uh, Isaac Komi the kickboxing background seems to be doing the, the, the trick Richard Komi uh, also came from the uh, kickboxing uh, family and then went on to uh, rule the world. And so for Isaac Komi, another of the Komis, I'm sure this generation, they just have the alphabet B in their blood, boxing. Well, the entertainment has started already and the uh, fans here have started enjoying, enjoying the bouts from ringside. So we need to look for, okay, so ev eventually the uh, gum shield is back in uh, its rightful place and the uh, bout will continue. But one thing, uh, NY, we've not lost track of is the fact that connoisseurs of the art of uh, boxing who come here every fortnight to witness the uh, Deluxe Energy Professional uh, Boxing League or the Deluxe Professional Boxing League almost leave here with their hearts filled. Boxers have shown a lot of class, a lot of discipline. The fans have almost always been here in their numbers and look at him go. Flurry of punches there from Isaac Kome, not landing the uh, points that he would have wanted, but of course also exhibiting that opinion. yourself. Well, the fights will continue here. This is just the first bout of the evening. And uh, for Ali Du Suleimana, showing a lot of grit there, taking in everything that Isaac Kome has to offer. But Isaac Kome has also given us clear indication that he definitely will not be a mere push over. Oops. Staggers on his feet, but bounces back. Goes into the uh, clinch and then gets out of uh, trouble. And he's, uh, you know, oozing with a lot of uh, confidence, uh, Derek. And uh, I mean, you, you, you have been close to the boxers. Of course, you're a member of the boxing fraternity. Sometimes, how important is it for a boxer who's uh, fighting his debut to show what he's made of, especially when you are faced with a tough opponent like Alidu. Well, I, I think that uh, 
debut fights are always difficult. I mean, for for boxers, I mean, and, and it's coming uh, face to face with a boxer who is very experienced. A boxer who is one of the tools of the Delosi uh, Professional Boxing League. He's well known, so he knows that there's a big task for him to clear, and he's doing that very well. I believe that um, Ali Du is slightly ahead of him with experience, not with energy, not with the normal blows. He is throwing, coming through a lot of blows. He's trying to, to do the work, but he lacks a bit of, of experience. That okay. is what Ali Du has more than him. But he's doing a lot of things well. Good punches, uh, good cover. He runs when he has to run. He clenches when he has to, you know, clench. And, and when he has to move back, he moves back. And, he, you know, as a kickboxer, he has a lot of energy in his kitty. And he's mm. showing it. Good, good show, good show, good show. Well, definitely not overawed. A lovely timed punch there from Malidu. And then Alidu tries to open up, but then he goes to the ropes. Oh, it saved the day for uh, Isaac. Alidu tries to uh, capitalize on that. Few shots to the body, to the head. Kome replies nicely. And then they go into the corner. It's a toe to toe affair now. And it looks like Isaac Kome seems to have uh, recovered nicely. Pommeling, you know, a few punches through. And Alidu stands tall. And there he goes for the uppercut. Goes for the right and then the left. Alidu tries to uh, return with a counter of his own. Oh, what a fight we have on our hands. Alidu tries to recover. Then he relaxes to take it. And Alidu is now on the receiving end. Ten seconds to the end of the round. This is explosive. Saved by the bell. Now this is about between someone who's fought five times against someone who's just fighting for the very first time. And why? You can't even tell the difference. Bro! I mean, Prince, we are in for a fight. These two fighters are leaving it all. We're definitely in for a fight. We're definitely in for a huge mountain to climb. Especially when these two boxers are concerned. We're just about getting ready to get into round four. The bouts or the rounds are scheduled for six. And so far, it's been explosive right from round one. And I mean, for viewers who are watching at home, Alidu has fought five times. Four of those uh, bouts he won by way of knockout. So you, it tells, it gives you a fair idea of how explosive, how power punchy he is. Now he's fighting against Isaac Komi, who's stepping into the ring for a very first time. I mean, the only experience is he has, or he's had, is the fact that he's coming from the uh, kickboxing uh, fraternity, just like our former world champion Richard Komi. But he definitely has a lot to offer. Alidu now chasing for the punches and the blows. Kome responds nicely. It's now a give and take affair. Oh, the crowd is loving this. No inch given and no inch taken. They are pummeling each other to bits. Kome goes out and then eventually he goes down. Woo! He's getting the mandatory eight count from uh, referee Erasmus Owu. And that rules him out. Hmm. That rules him out. What a debut performance. First of all, Derek, let me take your opinion. We saw him stagger. He went to the ropes, virtually out of the ring, came back again, and then went down. Now, does that qualify for the mandatory eight? Well, I, I, I have a different opinion, but uh, I'm not in the, in the ring. The referee was in the ring and saw what okay, so I let, let, let's see. walk through. let's walk through the process again. He's putting the pressure on, yeah. definitely, without a doubt. Yeah. And then at some point in time, whether it was the miscalculated step or it was the blow that took him back, we saw him reel against the uh, ropes, thought he was going out. But then in the process of coming back, 
That's when he went down into the ring. That, that, that is what I, 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 I felt earlier, that he lacks experience. So it was the blow that, that, that took him off before um, Alidu came in. So um, that, that thing is just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. Two uh, uh, blows behind the head, which is, which is a foul against Aludu. But unfortunately, it worked for him. I, I, I think it's just unfortunate. It was, we all saw that it was just a punch behind. We have the verdict now, ladies and gentlemen. In round number four, one minute, 21 seconds, by a knockout presenting to you the boxer, who is also known to be called the dynamite, Alidu Suleiman. So there we have it. Thank you very much. But let me, let me let me have a chat with uh, Isaac Komi. Isaac Komi, uh, uh, the verdict. And so this is his sixth, his sixth fight, his sixth win, five of the wins going by KO. Let's go back to ringside and listen to Ali, uh, Amin Lamte as he speaks with Isaac Komi. Boxing, you've done a great job. So what should we expect from you? Kajemanekaya, Mine Sanuwa Kwekahabu, who has to be an ultra boxer? Mine Sanuwa Man, good manager, good promotion. No matter how any situation, no obstacle. Even though we actually take into play, I'm, I'm, I'm on the game. You mean the difference in your boxing, your kickboxing? She knock up on modern world. There was no way I've seen you raising your legs or trying to do something that has some relation with kickboxing. Over modern world, then check. It was was like a new hour, but only. Mean your York and our fans. Yeah, I may expect more. Any, it's a fair to intro, bro. Me expect more fight. I may expect more question. And it's not a lose. Why are you more? No mean that my family body if I support me, mean that my family. I guess in the family about supporting me. Next time, why are you more? I'm late and I'm coming now. Maybe I'm a machine. Actually, I'm trying to say reference in a she more vim. More vim. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alidu. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Are you happy? Very, very happy. But I gave you a run for your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he, he gave you some punches. I thought you were going down. No, you see, he, he connects me some punches. But because of my strongness and this thing, I feel it. But he cannot put me down. Uh, which part of Ghana are you coming from? I'm from Bruna Alpha Brekum. Uh, Bruna Alpha Brekum. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, sir. Okay, so that was Zalido. Very excited.